and really believes that science, technology, and innovation will change and transform Sierra Leone. The president has prioritized and made, made it a policy pronouncement the focus on human capital development. As far as the president is concerned, for far too long, 58 years since political independence, Sierra Leone is still extracting and exporting raw materials and importing food items at exorbitant foreign exchange prices. Mm. So the president has said we have to focus on human capital development. In other words, the human capital is the most important asset, not our strategic mineral resources that have not been the blessing to the country. So as of today, uh, the new direction government has focused on putting into the national development program, 21% of national budget is now focused on the implementation and the delivery of free quality education to the extent that two million people now go to school free with no tuition fee. But at the same time, they have school meals, they have access to school buses, which of course they have to pay for. But not only that, the president has also indicated investing 10% of the national budget into agriculture. Because the agriculture is very important. Agricultural sector alone provides employment for about 65% of the population. And Sierra Leone, the staple food in Sierra Leone is rice. But we spend an estimated $200 million per annum just to import rice when we have vast arable land that we are not able to invest in. So the president has given a man mandate that within three years we have to cut rice importation to 50%. So we have to work backwards. So now we are investing in the rice value chain production across the country. And he has also made this pronouncement that all those with political appointment, the political class, must have must be involved in the agricultural sector development. I have a rice farm that I'm developing. The president has a vast agricultural rice farm. He's also developing in other areas. We want to make sure that before the end of the mandate of the first time, that the president has invested in agriculture to the extent that, to the extent that we are able to create jobs, we are able to diversify the economy through the agricultural sector in terms of rice value chain production, but also the agro-business. Because we believe that a country and the people that cannot feed itself will always remain to be dependent. This is the new direction as well. Well, gentlemen, we've been talking about how can governments best take advantage of entrepreneurial thinking. And